It's being a crime of ep epidemic proportions. That's what it's being called. And that's how Milwaukee police are describing the city's issue with car thefts and break-ins, especially right around Pfizer Forum. Sam Kramer joins us live downtown where police are increasing patrols to try to curb the problem, Sam. Yeah, hi there, Steph. More people and thus more cars are downtown tonight because of that Bucks game. So are Milwaukee police. They've brought in officers from other districts as a prevention tool. But tonight, a captain tells us solving this is not up to police alone. As Bucks fans ventured into the Deer District Sunday afternoon to watch the champs defend their title. The statistics Milwaukee police were paying attention to happened off the court. Five, ten years ago, somebody might steal a car and joyride that car for the better part of a day. Um, we're seeing people steal four, five, six cars in the course of a day and take short jo joy rides and then steal another vehicle. Captain James Campbell is the District 1 commander covering downtown. All weekend, Milwaukee police responded to nine stolen vehicle calls and 17 vehicle break-ins just in the Pfizer Forum area, some of which happened during the game. It's a much bigger problem than just a police problem. The Milwaukee Police Department welcomes any comments, questions, or concerns. But police are trying to adapt. In a Wednesday night crime and safety meeting, Campbell says more officers are patrolling parking areas searching for suspicious activity, especially around Kias and Hondas, because those cars have proven easier to steal. It's uh, going out on social media and kids are doing it at a, an alarming rate. Still, he says owners of those vehicles should rely on older technology, a steering wheel lock to protect themselves. Obviously, it's 1990s technology and may end up coming with a Zima and an Eddie Bauer pullover if you buy it. But it's something that really, um, all joking aside, is one of the biggest deterrents that we can have. Also part of that extra effort, officers are building case profiles on the suspects they believe are stealing multiple vehicles. And the hope by doing that is that they will strengthen the case presented to the district attorney's office, which in turn would make prosecution an easier thing to do. We're live tonight in downtown Milwaukee. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Love those references, but like you said, not a laughing matter. Sam, thanks. <laughs>